New details now in Hartford, where city leaders voted unanimously on raising the smoking age. You now need to be 21 years old to buy tobacco and vaping products. Channel 3's Courtney Zeller is joining us live near City Hall with more on when this could take effect. Courtney? Well, once the mayor signs off on it, then it will take effect, we're told, as early as next week. Now, keep in mind, this is just for the city of Hartford, but other cities are catching on. If you live in Hartford or maybe you're just passing through, you will need to be 21 years old to buy a pack of smokes. Even some smokers we talked to today think it's a good idea. I think it's great. Anything you can do. I wish I'd never started smoking, and but I do. And anything they can do to slow it down or stop it, it's great. It's, 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 it's a health issue, you know what I mean? The new law, which changed the age from 18 to 21, applies to all nicotine products such as cigarettes, cigars, chewing tobacco, tobacco, electronic cigarettes, and vapes. Hartford is the first Connecticut city to take the lead, but more could be following suit. Kids should, uh, to me, 18-year-olds is kids. I'm 26, so to me, I feel like they should not jump up to that age and go have to smoke tobacco and whatnot um, down the years later or to mess them up down the road. The city of Bloomfield is also looking at this. The mayor tells us they could vote on this as early as next month. We were there last week when a hearing was held about the change. Supporters spoke about moving the age. No one showed up against it. According to a 2014 Surgeon General's report, 15 is the average age when a Adults started smoking. This change is a way to keep teens from picking up a cigarette. Anything that could deter them from smoking or slow it down is a good thing. So who would be against that? And we reached out to the mayor's office today to get those specifics as to when and what day he will sign this. Uh, but we didn't hear back today. We, of course, will keep you posted. We're live at the Mobile Newsroom tonight from Hartford. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.